Hello friends, this is Niyazis Padi from the team of Miss Anais. So uh, I hope that you are uh, good in learning. I hope that you are good in uh, technical rounds, technical projects, uh, projects which I am going to display in this video session itself. So without wasting any time, I'll be moving to the project and what the project is all about, how LabVIEW is performing, how the space recognition has been taking place, uh, everything we'll be discussing in this video itself. So let me watch, let me not let you watch the video till the end and get the information regarding the project okay thank you so uh, i hope that you have uh, get the knowledge about what i am going to say in this video so in the introduction part i have said about uh, how labview is performing different speech recognition uh, and how it has been processing how the modulation has been done so everything will be discussing every block diagram uh, we will be discussing here itself in the video session as well as in some of the uh, parts we will be uh, covering about how the uh, speech recognition has been taking place how we are going to place how we are going to extract our voice through microphone everything we will be discussing so without wasting time let me move to the topic of this project which is about objects object control through speech recognition using LabVIEW so object control so when we discuss about object control we should have to keep in mind that we are going to control object okay so we are going to control object we have learned different mediums of controlling object through virtual or through artificial intelligence through machine learning we are controlling the objects right so in the in this fashion in the similar fashion we will be controlling the objects through our voice in LabVIEW platform how it is possible is it possible is it possible through block diagrams is it possible through the virtual instruments VI labs so everything will be covering up in this video so if you are new to this video then uh, video lecture then I hope that you will definitely make a very good understanding about project related to different electronic gadgets basically LabVIEW then after Arduino and after some of the instruments with the Raspberry Pi 2 okay so let me without wasting let me go to the abstract or instruction uh, about the project so when we discuss about speech speech is a natural form of human communication and the speech recognition is one of the most stimulating okay so we all know that we are communicating with you I am communicating with you all so with what with I am communicating with you with 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 a speech right so I am communicating with a voice to you so that you can understand what I am saying in the similar fashion speech is a very important uh, important thing which has been placing in this uh, century okay so then after area of signal processing okay so signal processing in the sense our voice in the form of signal which is processing which will be stimulating different instruments okay that's the thing so speech recognition technology has been made possible for computer to follow the human voice okay so commands and understanding human language so human language also placing a very important role here because if I am speaking with you in English rather than speaking with you in any other language such that uh, in Hindi or any other language like Odia so then then then, then there is there is a modulation right then in, there is a change there is a fluctuation so how it can catch that how it can command accordingly based upon knowledge that also we have to program that also we have to code based upon the uh, languages it fetches from the microphone okay so object like led toggle switch etc control through human speech is designed in this paper okay or, or in this project by combining the virtual instrument technology and speech recognition technology so one thing you have to mention or here i can notify you with a brush point that by the combine of virtual instrument technology and speech recognition technology uh, providing password authentication we will be programming in LabVIEW okay we will be programming in LabVIEW such that there will be a combination of virtual instrument and speech recognition technique okay in reference with password which we will be giving to that project 
okay so i hope that you have been, you will be clearly under, you will be clearly getting about the project once i get uh, the display of the uh, block diagram okay so to you so in this part one video i'll be discussing about the introduction part in my in my upcoming videos of part two and part three i'll be uh, displaying all the project details all the project diagrams okay to you you will be having uh, everything in front of you for designing for stimulating okay so then after the microphone is using the voice command from human so this is okay so this uh, this this can be done in lab view programming concept the microphone is taken and the microphone signal interface with lab view code okay so microphone signal interface will be what will be dealing with the interface with lab view code okay lab code will be generated appropriately based upon signal and control of the object okay entire work done okay entire the entire of the work done which is uh, all about stimulating our voice will be done in the lab view platform itself and what are the different keywords or instrument which we will be using one is lab view very very important then after vi vi virtual instrument then after we'll be using automatic speech recognition okay recognizer we can even say that okay so and sub vi okay sub vi's in the sense uh, will be dealing with programs inside a lab view program means program with program this is called sub vi program inside program you can say that so this is all about uh, the part one session so we'll be moving to the part two session soon and uh, i hope that you will you have you will be getting all the details about uh, what the programming is how the programming usually helpful for the youths for the uh, for the for the engineers who are performing their projects in speech synchronization technique so basically i'll be fo focusing uh, in the in the foremost part with lab view programming interface itself and i hope that you will get a clear clear understanding about how lab view is usually used for a graphical user interface with coding as well as with graphs okay so let me end the video here itself for you all so i hope that you have a like i hope that you have in, uh, taken interest in watching the video till the end and uh, i hope that you will also take interest to watch the video or the upcoming videos of this project which is in the form of part one part two and part three so till then thank you